probably the most picturesque of the king's palaces, Windsor Castle, standing high above the Thames. Royal Windsor. Home of the Queen. Royal Weddings. And me. Hello guys, Ryan here and welcome to the One Shot Adventures channel. Now I'm back in my hometown today to show you my top five favourite spots, so let's start with the obvious one. Growing up next to this beast has ruined every other castle in the world for me. Windsor Castle is a proper medieval fortress and the Queen's preferred weekend residence. It's really strange being in here because it's like, it's like the most unlocal thing to do. You're not allowed to film inside the state apartments, but they're definitely worth checking out. Walking around those grand halls will make you feel like you're an actor in The Crown. At number four is the River Thames. England's most famous river runs right through the centre of town. There's miles of beautiful riverside walks, as well as boat trips of all shapes and sizes, where you can get the best view of the castle. Now, if you've got kids, I've got to give a shout out to my old employer, Legoland. A large percentage of local teenagers work the summers here, and I was one of them. And you know, if you're a kid, it's pretty good. Just watch out, because it's quite expensive. Crossing the Thames via the Windsor Bridge brings us to number three, the small neighbouring town of Eton. Hang on, this is open. Home to one of the most prestigious schools in the world, I recommend heading down early and exploring the vast campus. Especially at the weekends, it's a lot quieter in Eton than it is in Windsor. So if you're sick of all the crowds of tourists and you just want some peace and quiet, it's a really nice place to come and take a little walk around. I haven't run into another person for about half an hour. It's quite cool. The Windsor Great Park is absolutely stunning. Back in the day, it was a private hunting ground for the royal family, and the jewel in its crown is a long walking path called the Long... the Long Walk. It stretches three miles from the gate of the castle right up to the statue of the Copper Horse. I'm not walking this whole thing today. Now this is more my pace. Windsor has tons of amazing traditional pubs. And outside of a lot of them, you're bound to see this sign, which brings us to my number one favorite pick in Windsor. The Windsor and Eaton Brewery is fast becoming a local institution. The beer is great and so is the brewery tour. They'll tell you all about their history, how they got started. They'll tell you about the brewing process and of course their samples. Lots and lots of samples. They even have a special brew just for royal weddings. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.